Have you ever wondered why small insects can walk on water without sinking? This fascinating phenomenon is due to a property of liquid called surface tension. Now let's dive a bit deeper into this mystery. Surface tension is a remarkable feature of liquids that enables objects denser than water such as a needle or an insect to float atop the water surface. But how is this possible, you may ask? Well, it's all about the elastic tendency of a fluid surface. This elasticity strives to minimize the surface area, creating a sort of skin that holds the liquid together. The result? A tight surface layer that can support certain weights, allowing objects to float rather than sink. So next time you see a bug skimming across a puddle, remember it's all thanks to the wondrous properties of surface tension. In essence, surface tension is the skin of a liquid that holds the liquid together and lets certain objects float on its surface. A surface tension might seem like magic, but it's all about science, specifically the science of intermolecular forces. To understand surface tension, we must first delve into the world of molecules. Molecules in a liquid are in constant motion, colliding and interacting with each other. These interactions create forces of attraction between them, known as cohesive forces. When these forces are evenly distributed in all directions within the liquid, the molecules are in balance. But what happens at the surface of the liquid, where there are no molecules above to balance out these forces? Here, the molecules experience an unbalanced force, pulling them towards the rest of the liquid. This pull is stronger at the surface because there are fewer molecules above to counterbalance the forces from below and the sides. This inward pull causes the surface molecules to contract and minimize their exposure to the air, resulting in a tight elastic-like layer at the surface. This layer behaves almost like a stretched elastic sheet, trying to shrink into the smallest possible size. This is what we call surface tension. Now, you might be wondering, why do some liquids have higher surface tension than others? The answer lies in the strength of the cohesive forces. Liquids with stronger cohesive forces like water have higher surface tension. That's why a droplet of water forms a bead instead of spreading out flat. On the other hand, liquids with weaker cohesive forces like alcohol have lower surface tension. This is why alcohol spreads out more and forms a thinner layer than water. Surface tension is also temperature dependent. As temperature increases, the kinetic energy of the molecules also increases, causing them to move faster and collide more forcefully. This weakens the cohesive forces and, in turn, reduces the surface tension. So the secret behind the walking water trick of insects and the floating needle is the cohesive forces between the liquid molecules resulting in surface tension. Now that we understand what surface tension is and the science behind it, Let's delve into its impact and applications in our daily lives. Picture this, a bead of water forming at the tip of a leaf after a gentle rain, or a drop of honey slowly stretching out from your spoon. These are the everyday wonders of surface tension at play. It's a force that holds the molecules of a liquid together, allowing it to resist external forces and maintain a shape, like a droplet. But it's not just about making droplets. Surface tension also powers the phenomenon known as capillary action. This is the ability of a liquid to flow in narrow spaces without the assistance of, or even in opposition to, external forces like gravity. It's why water can travel up a thin straw or why plants can draw water up from their roots. And it doesn't stop there. Surface tension has a significant role in many industrial applications. For instance, in enhanced oil recovery, surface tension plays a crucial part. By reducing the surface tension between oil and water, oil that was previously trapped in rock formations can be extracted, optimizing the production process. Yet, surface tension isn't a constant. It can be affected by changes in temperature and the presence of other substances. For instance, as temperature rises, surface tension decreases. This is because the increased kinetic energy of the particles disrupts the cohesive forces holding the liquid together. Similarly, the addition of detergents can lower surface tension. Detergents are made up of molecules with a water-loving head and a water-hating tail. These molecules arrange themselves at the water's surface, disrupting the cohesive forces and reducing surface tension. This is why adding soap to water allows it to spread out more easily making cleaning a breeze. From the smallest droplet to large-scale industrial applications, 
surface tension plays a crucial role in shaping the world around us. As we forge forward into the future, understanding and harnessing this fundamental force will continue to be vital in science, industry, and our everyday lives. The surface tension, a unique property of liquids, has fascinated us today. This seemingly magical phenomenon, the invisible skin of the liquid, is what allows certain insects to skate on water, droplets to form, and so much more. It's a fascinating part of our world, but not as mysterious as you might think. We've delved into the science behind surface tension, exploring how intermolecular forces at the liquid's surface create a tension, a pull that gives the liquid its unique properties. We've seen how temperature, impurities, and the liquid's nature can affect this tension, making it stronger or weaker. But surface tension is not just a curiosity. It has practical applications in our everyday lives, from the mundane, like washing dishes, to the extraordinary, like fueling rockets in space. It's a fundamental principle that governs our world in ways we often overlook. So, next time you see a bug walking on water or a droplet forming, you'll know the science behind it. Surface tension, the invisible skin of the liquid,